Hello everybody, hello everybody, hello everybody, this is Unhime, this is Unhime, this is Unhime, this is Unhime, Peter Fox. And surprise, the plague didn't kill me and it's everyone else's problem now. So, fun fact, I actually fully recorded this video. Two years... Oh my god, I'm getting old. <laughs> I, I recorded the rest of this video two years ago. Oh my god. Ah... Uh... I'm getting old. <laughs> okay, let's ignore the miniature existential crisis instead. I originally had started filming the introduction of this video two years ago, and what I had recorded is not great. But I did speak truly when I said that I am the queen of procrastination because I made that video before my room got rearranged. It hasn't just been rearranged once. It's been rearranged three times since then. <laughs> so, <laughs> whoops. Instead of doing a lot of what I was trying to do in the original video, I'm just going to make a hopefully short, because I cannot control my rambling, introduction of myself and what this channel is going to be like, since this will be the highlight, or whatever you call it, of my channel. Hi, my name is Onihime. If you didn't gather that from the introduction, the wonderfully put together introduction, I'm sorry for whoever's ears I made bleed during that. Um, <clears throat> a lot of my friends call me May. Some people, depending on who you are, call me He May. If you knew me during Battle Aussie, you either know me by that or oh no. I bet you none of you are watching because that community's servers were insanitary. So, some things you should probably know before we get started on this lovely adventure where you delve into the depths of my insanity with me is that. Number one, my insanity is a relative term, insanity is technically the norm, and I hope you enjoy your stay. I am your chaotic dose of madness and hopefully happiness for the day. I am inconsistent, I'm unable to stay on a topic for very long, I blame ADHD. I also tend to speak like a, um, what is, if only, if, if only there was a book that could accurately describe how I speak, but I don't know of a single thing that could accurately describe. A lot of people say I speak like a dictionary, so be prepared for that. If you're not going to vibe with that, I completely understand, and um, it was nice having you visit. <laughs> This channel of mine is just going to be something where I hope someone gets a smile, even if it's at my own detriment. But in reality, I have loved YouTube as a platform. Rephrase, I've loved YouTubers on YouTube, and being a content creator isn't necessarily what I'm going for with this. I am someone who loves to create things. YouTube is just an extension of that for me. I love writing, I love making jewelry, I love doing art. And instead of like before where I was starting to go full gaming, you guys are just going to get a dose of my insanity every time I decide to upload it and it's going to be inconsistent as hell, don't expect consistency. And if you do, welcome to the brain of ADHD. Um, but I have tried, <laughs> I have tried to do this video. A dozen times over before. In fact, I'm pretty sure in my original edit I switched sweatshirts and didn't notice because it was a different day. This channel is just literally going to be an extension of my insanity, my sense of humor, and just who I am as a person. 
I don't intend for this to be a uh, lucrative thing. If I was planning that, I would have quit my job in the restaurant industry and hoped that I could have made a living, but that's not happening. No, I have a family depending on me right now, so that's not an option. And I can also promise you that this might be the most put together I am in any of my videos because I get near the fryers once at work. And my hair just looks like this. I need to find a uh, cleansing shampoo that doesn't wreck my whole entire scalp's ecosystem. <laughs> Now, while I'm at it and introducing myself, let's actually talk about the old reasons why I quit YouTube and make this just a sort of short little section because some of you may be curious, some of you may not care and have already clicked off the video, but I wouldn't know that and you wouldn't know that I'm even talking about this. Um, when I first started YouTube, I was a kid. I was 13 years old, making vlogs, vlogs. <laughs> my friends <laughs> you know the one sorry two friends i had appear on my channel back then i was a kid i didn't know what i wanted to do with my life and i actually genuinely thought that my career was going to be on youtube believe it or not i was fully invested in making youtube a full-time career by the time i was 20. <laughs> I wonder what my 13 year old self thinks now. Still broke, still not doing what I want to do for a living, have completely changed trajectory from the YouTuber to animator, or sorry, from YouTuber to fashion designer to animator, all the way to being a writer. Which, holy hell, that was a shift. That was a complete shift. I had no clue what I wanted to do as a kid, and that is still true now. I have no clue what I want to do as an adult, other than I want to write books for the rest of my life, whether they succeed or not. The only thing I want to do with my life is make people happy, truly. I like making people happy. I like doing things that make people feel good. I love doing things that genuinely help people. There were a lot of things going on when I was a kid, and I am fully aware of that. I was that child. I'm not proud of who that child was, especially because that child had intense mental issues that she didn't know how to take care of and had to figure it out on her own as an adult. Issues I'm still working on. And I plan to keep working on for as long as I can. And hopefully I will be able to make these issues manageable. Because I'm a human. Long story short, I have issues. Everyone does. But I was too young to understand that making YouTube videos wasn't the correct solution. Nowhere near the correct solution. Honestly, what I needed more back then was to be off of YouTube. It's not that my intentions were disingenuous when I first started YouTube as a kid. I had really, really horrible ideas and really grand ideas, and anyone who saw my old videos can't remember which ones are private in and which ones aren't, because as I re-record videos, I'm actually going to be taking the old ones down. A, because their quality is crunchy, <laughs> but also because of the fact that 90% of the time the game wasn't actually recording right because I didn't know how to work with OBS. So, <laughs> if that and I was recording on an HP Stream laptop, that 10 inch HP Stream laptop that had 2 gigabytes of space, which was really only 1 gigabyte of space, that I tried to do literally anything with and it pretty much crashed. I was recording gaming videos on that. I don't know what the fuck made, made me think that was a good idea. That's my backup laptop and I think it's cursed. Like, <laughs> I don't like thinking about that. But that's how I was running things and then I got the pavilion. My first pavilion. And that one did pretty well. My brother
brother gave me a webcam and I recorded, I recorded. I think I stopped recording YouTube videos when I was around 16 years old, actually. Like, I went on recording YouTube videos for a while. And then I stopped. A lot of it was just life. I moved I moved on. I didn't go off the platform as a whole. But not only had I been embarrassed by the creation I said that was still having comments made on it, and I don't even know where those comments are anymore, which is the concerning thing because it's been so long. And also because of the fact that despite my drive to create, I'm going to willingly say that high school got the better of me <laughs> because that is when I stopped recording. I stopped recording when I moved into this room, I'm pretty sure. And if not when I moved into this room, it was shortly after. It would have been freshman year of high school because I don't remember recording videos in sophomore year and if I did, I'm going insane. With all of that said, though, I don't think I actually need to dwell on this topic too much more. There's not much more to say. Especially because of the fact that I'm not just going to be making gaming content. This is just going to be an extension of who I am. The upload schedule, the sporadicness of everything, me having to re-record every game that I recorded in 2022 and 2021 because of the fact that most of the files are damaged or literally gone. I have to record all of FNAF. Including the 20 minutes. So. That's all I have to say. Thank you all for stopping by. Hopefully this will be a deliciously chaotic adventure. And I will see all of you in the next video. Bye.